Hi everyone, and uh, welcome back. So I have been doing a lot of um, CD scratches repair guides, and you guys have been asking me, what about Blu-rays, what about PlayStation 3, 4, 5 games that runs in Blu-ray? And the answer is, I don't know. So today we're gonna try fix scratches on Blu-ray discs. So I have some Disney Blu-ray discs here, and I'm trying to decide which one I should destroy, but uh, I think I'm gonna go with the cats, because I don't see that very much. So this game, oh, not game, video, Blu-ray video, are working, and I'm just gonna prove that by putting it in. You can see the back, there's like no scratches. And let's put it in the machine, and let's see if it's playing. So that's step number one. Check that it's working. Reading. Okay, it's playing. It's definitely playing. Okay, so step number two, destroy it. So now we're gonna scratch it with some sandpaper. Grid uh, 2500. And let's see if we can do so. The, um, the Blu-ray player can't read the data. Already now I can say like the plastic layer looks a lot more different from when you do this uh, with a normal CD. Like it's like already now I can feel like it's harder to scratch this Blu-ray disc than it is to scratch a normal disc. I might have to go get some sandpaper that's even more rough. Um, I'm not going to do any cuts in the video because it's gonna be a full length recorded video so there's no cheating or anything. Okay, so I gave it some scratches. Some. So let's just see if it's playing now. Or if I have to go get some, some heavier sandpaper. Reading, 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 reading. So let's see if the scratches can get reading. Mm. It makes some clicking sounds, so it doesn't sound like it's reading the uh, Blu ray disc. Let's just give it some time to make sure that it's. It got its time. We can put some polishing cream on the polishing machine I'm having, and I'm using this one. Um, car polishing cream for, for a car's top coat. Just like this. Good. And it's still just saying reading and reading, reading, reading. It doesn't seem like it's gonna work, so it was much faster in the beginning. So let's just take it out and let's try polish it and see if it's working. If it's working, then yes, you can repair scratch it on a Blu-ray disc. If not, it's not possible, but uh, we will see. If it even wants to come out now. There we go. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. I'm just gonna put this a bit more out so it's not like all in one place. I 
I'm moving my hand a little bit from side to side to make the cream spread just a little bit more. But you want the CD to stay in the middle. You can see in between these two fingers, I keep it right at the middle sp uh, spinning point. Because if you get too close to the edges, the CD will fly off and it will become a weapon and probably get destroyed if it flies off the uh, polishing machine. A little bit more. Okay, let's try to remove it with some water. I'm just gonna let the water soak just a little bit to loosen up the polishing material so we're not scratching it so much when we are removing it. And all over the back and on my hands. Yeah, the cream even went on my pants, so <laughs> it goes everywhere if you don't take care. Okay, and then a soft towel. And look, <sighs> and look at that. It's like it has never been scratched. It's total shining. Wow, and it's the same DVD. I didn't change it out. Don't think this is fake, this is true. This is one long recorded video, no cutting or anything. Let's put it into the machine. And it's still, st <laughs> it's still saying reading. So I think I'm just gonna restart this um, Blu-ray player. Just to make it a little bit quick and see if we can make it work again. Okay, it's in. Let's see if it can play. If it's playing right now, then yes, you can repair Blu-ray discs too with this method. I think we just have to pop it out and pop it back in to activate the um, automatic playing. Sorry guys, I can't cut this out because I could be cheating by changing the um, DVD. So you just have to wait. This unit is not connected to the internet. Yeah, I don't need anything. I don't need that. I don't need anything like that. Okay. I'm just gonna restart this again. Let's see. Let's see. I'm gonna use the remote this time.
and it's saying reading. Doesn't seems like it don't wants to wants to load. Okay, let's just try punish it a little bit more. Maybe that would do it. Maybe, maybe not. It might just need some more time. some water on to make it like just a little bit more work. To activate some of the polish and cream so it's like not like so dry. Okay, now it's getting quite hot, so I might stop now because I damaged the uh, the data. So, uh, but let's see if it's it can read now. The uh, plastic seems to be a little a little bit more harder, so it might need some more polishing as well as uh, scratching. So, but I'm sure it's gonna work once we like got it polished enough. Okay, let's try. Let's try see if it's working. <coughs> Reading. And something is happening. It's working! 
So the conclusion is that yes, you can repair a uh, Blu-ray uh, disc, but uh, it takes some more time because as I could feel, the plastic is more hard. So it needs some more work and needs some more perfection as it's more sensitive. But if you get it right and you get the polish even, then yes, you can restore Blu-ray discs like uh, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Xbox, uh, even Blu-ray movies like I just did. So um, I'm gonna do more videos in um, in the future. I have like um, I have this one. I actually want to uh, to make a video about. I'm just gonna go get it. This one. Uh, Skip Doctor, I think it's named. I want to make a video about how great it is and if it can even restore broken uh, broken games. Um, I'm gonna put games in this one um, that are working and then I'm gonna run it through and see if it's working after I use this machine. Um, so yeah, if you want to see that then um, subscribe to my channel and give me a like and See you in the next um, video.